Hello, welcome to the colorful vlog. Today is vlogmas day 24, which means it's Christmas Eve. So um, first off, a very, very Merry Christmas to everyone watching, if you're celebrating. And otherwise, of course, happy holidays for anything else you're celebrating. Also for Mr. Binks. <laughs> and then, of course, a big, big thank you to everyone who supported me through Ko-Fi in the past days. Um, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very, very much. Um, it's nice that uh, you appreciate what I'm doing and the time I'm putting in. And uh, yeah, it makes it just a little bit easier, especially now with all the expensive equi equipment, um, which I am really enjoying. Um, everything is way smoother, way clearer. Um, and I hope you enjoy that too. So, Mr. Puri. Mr. Puri has his mats. Um, I don't know if you ever had prednisone, but it really gives you a boost. And he got two pills this morning from his booster. Uh, yeah, we have to give him three days of two pills and then tapering off. So he is so, so busy. <laughs> He's been running around like crazy. I made a little clip um, what he did with Robert's beer advent calendar or our beer advent calendar. Um, <laughs> we did not put in snacks. We might though. Um, but the holes are a bit too deep, so that's a bit difficult. <laughs> Miss Laia now has uh, one of these, one of the older numbers, and, and they are now basically going over the floor, enjoying themselves. Hey ho, I have my hands free, I can unpack things. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one, uh, number 24 of the World of All Luxury Fiber Calendar. I wonder how, where we will see that thing again. Probably somewhere under some of the furniture. Ooh, this feels really luxurious. This feels like a lot of silk. It's also shiny and I'm guessing cashmere. Yep. It's called Not So Scrooge because it is ultra fine merino with cashmere, mulberry silk and rose fiber. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like the luxury stuff even though I don't like mulberry silk, but there was another package um, which I'm guessing is a bar of soap. Let's see. Let's take the staples out because I already hooked. Just hurt myself. Oh, look at that. It is a bar of soap in a felted jacket. That is nice. It also smells nice. So, no label telling me what it is. So I guess I have to watch the video today on Instagram. Um, next up, let's go for the tea today. It is not one for me because it is an uplifting blend of lemony herbs with a twist of orange. Um, so yeah, it's a joy, but for someone else, which is absolutely fine. Um, coffee is from Brazil. And as you can see, Um, Robert's advent calendar is still here. I took the other ones out because I wanted to put the amaryllis here. There you go. There's the amaryllis. It has grown about half a centimeter since I bought it at the beginning of December. And I left that one up because I cannot reach it without some steps. Uh, or step stool or something. Uh, and I'm probably gonna let Robert do that. Um, and then we can 
change this corner a little bit again. But Robert has a 25th, so I'm gonna read to you the 24th, which was from Brazil, um, from the Minas Gerais region, Minas Gerais, I'm not sure. Ascarive Co-op or Farm, and the taste notes are caramel, chocolate, nuts, and orange. And for tomorrow, I didn't take it out. Um, it looks the same, it just says Kenya. And it is from the Blue Mountain region from various co-ops and farms. And the taste notes are blackberry, cherry, chocolate, and citrus. So a really Christmassy, yeah. I think that's a really Christmassy blend for coffee. Um, this one, absolutely wonderful. And I love the fact that he didn't have to grind his beans every day um, because this makes it way easier. Then the beer, No Worries Driving Home for Christmas by Lervik. And it is imported by, for the UK, uh, for Italy, oh, it's imported in a lot of countries. Um, it has water, barley, wheat, hops, cinnamon, and yeast. So it is definitely a Christmas ale um, with some cinnamon. Interesting. Did it focus right there? Look at the artwork. I think it looks cute. So that's one to share. The next one is not to share. The jam today is figs. Come on, focus. With port. So, yeah, that one is not uh, for me. That one is for Robert. No alcohol for me, even though um, the alcohol is probably uh, dissolved by cooking it. Um, it still has sulfites from the uh, from the port. So, okay, bye. <laughs> And then, last but definitely not least, I kept this for last because it's fun. Um, Josh's advent calendar, and there is more hand spun. Look at that. And this is a wool and silk blend, just like yesterday. It is very, very pretty. I wonder if I could combine them all together. Let's see. Might be interesting. What do you think? Any ideas what this can be are welcome. Maybe a fun scrappy hat or something. Feels good enough. So thank you very very much Josh. I really really enjoyed your advent calendar. Um, I also enjoyed all the other ones, of course, but that one was really, really special. So thank you very much. Um, I guess I'm going to continue. I'm going to pop you on a different setting so I can open up Robert's Christmas hamper because I still haven't filled that. <laughs> I went out this morning to buy some flowers because my amaryllis isn't as far as I would like it. Um, so I bought one ready for my vase. Um, I'll show it off when I troll the camera. And um, yeah, see you back. Right, big heavy box. I might have to stand up somewhere, but let's see if we can do it like this so you can actually see me. Um, we've got two champagne flutes. Crystal glasses, lead free. Very nice, very sleek. There is a card from the company, and there is a Center Parks voucher um, where you get a discount. So, definitely going to look into that. That's something that's in most of them yearly, um, and we hardly ever use them, but. Maybe this year will be the year we actually do. 
Oh yeah, and sorry about my very stainy shirt. Since I'm going to be cooking and baking all day, I thought it would be better to put on something that already has stains so I don't uh, ruin another shirt. Thanks, Binks. Yeah, very kind of you. Wheels on the chair. So he jumped away and pushed the chair against the tripod. There is some chorizo and salami for Robert. He loves that stuff. So then we have something I absolutely love reusable straws with a brush. So also nice that you can clean them. Hi, Binks, you're doing it again. Let me move the chair. Let's see if this helps. Cats. You little rascal. Um, these are chocolates, milk chocolate. Oh, 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 yeah, you can climb me. Uh, milk chocolate Christmas balls. Uh, you can hang them in the tree, which we won't, because I will not risk these two eating it. Um, they don't generally do, but you never know. Nacho chips. Uh, I think I can have them. So that's good. And then there is uh, petit pains, so whole wheat toasted bread. There is some tagliatelle pasta for Robert because it has egg in it. Uh, that's fine because that's things he eats on days that I want something else or something really easy. Um, he's not always a fan of potatoes. Then there is focaccette, um, mini dried uh, focaccine with rosemary. So always nice to have when guests are there and you just want to dip it in something. There is a jelly bean bottle. Look, all the colorful jelly beans. So far, it doesn't even really shake it. Um, some green olives. I think I need to adjust a setting. Let's see if that works. Oh, I cannot adjust it now. Unfortunately, so we will have to do with blurry labels. Um, this one looks really fun. This is a birdhouse. Uh, bird, DIY birdhouse, Japanese tea house. And here is the back. You can see the whole, how it works. Um, it's eco-friendly waxed cardboard. So we'll see how long it holds in the rain in the Netherlands. But I really, really like it. And going with that is a Four Seasons bird mix in a bottle. Very special. Uh, <laughs> for the birds, um, which I think is also very, very lovely. Our birds will enjoy that. There is a little piece of cheese, um, extra, uh, extra belegen, which means it's um, not old, but also not the young one, but somewhere in between, and then a little bit longer. Uh, this is gingerbread fudge, which sounds amazing. Mm. I might actually sneak a little bite from it. I might. Then we have truffle mayonnaise. Oh my goodness. There are two little bottles of Tucker Schnapps. Um, so, a stiff drink, very local. I've never heard of it, so maybe not that local or I'm just too old. <laughs> and those things are from uh, after my drinking times. Um, here is a jar of pesto and some pomodoro bruschetta. Those go well with those little fontinis. And there is some apple elderberry juice and yep, it's just apple and elderberry, so 
this one's definitely one I can have. We have some licorice. Um, let's see. I can't see if it's salty or sweet. Don't know. I think it's salty. Oh no, falls out. So very sweet. Then there is pasta sauce to go with the pasta. That's how it works. There is salsa dip to go with the nachos. We have limoncello, which I will probably open tomorrow with the in-laws and my mother so they can have a drink and try it. If it's nice, we keep it. If it's not nice, we gift it. That's how it works. If we open up bottles of booze here and Robert doesn't like it, we gift it right away. Uh, Prosecco, which is always nice if you have something to celebrate. In this household, we drink that. Um, I sneak in a sip. Um, these are marshmallows for Christmas s'more. Oh, no. Roast marshmallows. Roast marshmallows and Christmas s'more. So, very pretty. And then, we found this baggie and it has these in there. So, I'm guessing what we thought was a tray is actually a checkers board and it's also a tray. I think that's awesome. And now we only have this stuff left which I'm going to keep away from the cats. And, oops. <laughs> that was a bit louder than expected. Um, let me, yeah, not. Uh, don't want to push anything off the table. Um, so yeah, it was a very nice one this year. Um, we've seen worse. <laughs> Let's just keep it at that. Um, and... We really, really appreciate these things. Uh, is it something you get as well abroad? I mean, in the Netherlands, I know, but is it also something for in the UK or Germany? I don't know. Um, I know that it also was a tradition here to do a ham, like a big one. Um, that's things we saw as well years ago um, but more more and more people are vegetarian and vegan so i'm guessing that's not something that is used anymore i think that's a very local uh, thing that happened um, like in my area Twente. and um yeah i now need to put the cats under their blanket Otherwise, they will scratch it to pieces. Um, I'm guessing that's it for Vlogmas. I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, oh, there are my flowers. It's weird. There, there. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching. And I am hoping to see you again next week to do the kickoff of the 12 cast-ons. Um, I already saw Angela putting out the video for it with infos and how she's gonna do it. Um, I also am going to do a little video for my preparations and everything. And then uh, the kickoff will be probably in the new year. I want to finish as much whips as I can this December. And uh, yeah. All that's left to say is Merry Christmas and hopefully a very, very healthy and happy 2023. And see you again soon. Bye bye. Okay, well.